Hi, this is Ty. In this video, I'll show you how to make a poster like this in Photoshop. First, import an image into the canvas and resize it as needed. Next, select the Object Selection tool. At the top of the screen, make sure the mode is set to Cloud. Then click and drag around the area you want to select. It will automatically select it cleanly and accurately. Once the selection is complete, go to the bottom right of the screen and click the Fill icon in the Layers panel. Choose Solid Color and pick your favorite color. Personally, I love red, so I'll go with that. With the Fill layer selected, press Command or Control plus T to enter Free Transform Mode. Scale it down slightly so that the original image is visible around the edges. Now let's start shaping the design using a mask. Choose the Polygonal Lasso tool. Click around to create a shape that you want to cut out. Once your selection is complete, make sure the layer mask is selected. Then go to the Edit menu and choose Fill. Set the fill color to black. Black areas in the mask mean that part of the layer will be hidden. Next, double click on the right side of the fill layer name to open the layer style panel. From the list on the left, choose Inner Shadow and adjust the opacity and distance. You can leave the choke and size set to zero. Feel free to copy my settings exactly if you'd like. Now the base of the graphic is complete. Let's move on to laying out the poster itself. Use the rectangle tool to add a bar at the top of the canvas. Make the color the same red you used earlier. This helps unify the color scheme and gives the poster a more balanced look. On top of this bar, add elements like the poster title, a catchphrase, the year, your name, and the poster number. I also like to add decorative assets to enhance the design. By the way, I've included a link in the video description where you can find all the assets I use. And on my Instagram subscription, I also share exclusive textures, assets, and mobile wallpapers. Feel free to check it out if you're interested. Finally, let's add my signature. This signature also uses the same inner shadow effect from earlier. Prepare a signature, logo, or favorite phrase and place it where you like. Set the fill of that layer to zero. Then double click on the right side of the layer name to open the layer style panel. Enable inner shadow and adjust only the opacity and distance. Leave the choke and size at zero. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.